ferocious flames, deadly smoke and a family trapped inside. Last year, two people died in Darwin house fires. Neither home had a smoke detector. But even those with smoke detectors may not be safe. Ionisation alarms are technically not a smoke detector. They're a submicron particle detector. It's actually fraudulent to call them a smoke alarm. Most homes are fitted with these, known as ionisation detectors, which are prone to false alarms, yet don't detect deadly smouldering fires. Uh, you can see this room is not survivable without an air mask. Uh, you probably couldn't get your kids out. A photoelectric alarm, meantime, is triggered by the first wisps of smoke. Activating two to three times faster and giving you time to escape. Could be 15, 20 minutes, even up to an hour. Fire services have known the ionisation alarms have failed Australian standards since 1993. But while the code was improved, it was never made mandatory. While a campaign in the US has seen eight major cities ban ionisation models. If we could wave the magic wand right now and eliminate all the ionisation smoke alarms and replace them with a the photoelectric, in the US we would save 1,500 lives a year. We would cut our fire deaths in half. Darwin firefighters respond to up to 140 building fires annually. And while they say their preference is for homeowners to install photoelectric detectors, their primary concern is people installing smoke alarms at all. The NT Fire Service says legislation in the pipeline will put us ahead of the nation. The minimum requirement will be a photoelectric 10-year lithium battery operated smoke alarm installed. It will also be compulsory to install the $90 alarms in all caravans. Michelle Buckworth, Nine News.